Hello and a very warm welcome to this special. Madhya Pradesh have uh, restricted Mumbai to 248 for 5 on day 1 of the Ranji Trophy final that is being played in Bengaluru. This after a solid opening from uh, Yashasvi Jaiswal and Prithvi Shaw. They uh, scored 87 uh, in their opening stand but once they were out, uh, Madhya Pradesh kept taking wickets at regular intervals. Mumbai ending the day on 248 for 5. Yashasvi Jaiswal, in fact, at one point looked like he was going for his fourth straight ton of uh, the tournament, but was dismissed for 78. Safaraz Khan and Shams Mulani at the crease uh, at the end of uh, day one. And uh, now the question is, how much will Mumbai score? Will Madhya Pradesh be able to stop Mumbai under 300? who has the edge after day one. I'm joined here by former India cricketer, former Madhya Pradesh cricketer, a coach, uh, 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 someone who's part of the Indian Revenue Services now. Uh, Amay Kurasia joins me here. Thank you so much, Amay, for talking to us first. What would you say at the end of day one, Amay? Uh, even keel or do you think Madhya Pradesh have a slight advantage? No, no, I don't think so. But yes, tomorrow will be a very important morning for... Uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh also and for Mumbai also. The first hour will be the key and uh, the new ball will play its role. Mm. And uh, I think uh, I, I think it's even Steven right now, but uh, uh, looking at the way Mumbai started, they could not capitalize on a solid start. And uh, what Madhya Pradesh did was they restricted them at the, they restricted them and they never let them get away with a big total. Mm. So, so like I, I can say both sides played well, mm. both sides played well, I can say that. Okay, we'll get into the specifics in just a bit, but first, not looking at the scorecard, am I not looking at how the day ended, were you surprised by Madhya Pradesh uh, bowling just four bowlers? Uh, can you come again with the last line? I said, please? were you surprised by just four bowlers for Madhya Pradesh? And yeah, I am. I'm. I'm also surprised. <clears throat> I think they have gone with the deeper batting. That's what. But the red flag is uh, they have only gone with four bowlers. And uh, the point is, uh, the third day of a match when they come and bowl again, or fourth day of a match when they come and bowl again, uh, already they have put in the seamers have put in their heart out. So how much will they be able to bounce back, and how much uh, how much fatigue will get in? That will be the key because it will be day four. All the spinners will play a very important role on day four. But I could see a good amount of grass on the surface. And uh, I think uh, it must be good overcast conditions in Bangalore. But the ground is good. It will drain out very well. Yeah. So, uh, But yes, two seamers only aside. Mm -hmm. And what, very, what, what was surprising was Kuldeep Sen sitting out. Mm -hmm. If he's not fit, I can understand. But if he's fit, then why is he not playing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is another question, whether it was uh, worth the risk playing just four bowlers. We'll get to know in the days to come. But what Madhya Pradesh did and what their bowling did, Amay, was that they bowled with complete discipline throughout. They may not have got wickets in heaps, but they still never uh, let Mumbai t take the game away from them on day one. Isn't that so? And their pacers, just the way they started, and I know... Uh, if you look at the, the scorecard, Gaurav Yadav, 23 wicketless overs, but you've got to give it to him and you've got to praise him for how well he bowled along with Anubhav Agarwal. Oh, yes, yes, he did. He did very well, but uh, not to forget the fact that it was day one and uh, the conditions were quite helpful to the fast bowlers in the beginning. The first session always was very good for the bowlers to bowl because the ball was doing a bit. There was lateral movement in the surface. Mm -hmm. And once you have a lateral movement, then even your bad balls you can get away with. But a similar situation will not happen when they will come and bowl on day three and day four. Because the point is, the initial bite and the initial moisture of the surface will not be there to assist them. So I think uh, today the factors were in favor of the bowlers. Of course, they bowled with a lot of discipline, with a lot of respect. But still, they allowed Mumbai's first session to get away without. They allowed Mumbai to get away mm -hmm. in the first session. If they would have picked three or four, they would have got them out by this evening. So when you think, when you when you when you when you do a little bit of dissection of the game, mm -hmm. you realize that the first session Mumbai played very well, which was a very tough session, but they could not capitalize on that. Fair enough. But had had in, had uh, 
had uh, Madhya Pradesh did done well the first session, okay. which was the initial first few hours. Then they would have got three or four of Mumbai players. Then you can understand the situation by the fag end of the day. Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh would have gone and batted. Mm. You know, you can, you can understand. So what? It looks great when you assess a situation like this that they did well in first inning where they got them for one wicket and hundred runs. But the point is, were they able to utilize the conditions? No. Mm. It's, now, if if stopping runs and bowling dots is utilizing conditions, I'm sorry, this is a test cricket. This is five days. This is not T20. True. If scoring, it's not about bowling dots. It's about picking wickets. And and not and not a catch, not a single catch was dropped. There were few one. There was one or two edges which flew over the slips. Just one edge, I think so. Yeah. But uh, that was of uh, Prithvi Shaw. But yes. then otherwise, 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 they could not utilize those conditions which were mm. meant for them. So they had to come back and rely on spin. The hmm. bowlers were uh, seamers were playing a role Correct. where they were they were creating the pressure, and spinners were trying to ensure that they pick wickets. So hmm. it was a good a good mix bag. But Correct. if you really want to see the game through a very strong lens, then first session by MP bowlers was wasted. Okay, so the first session was wasted, and now the first session tomorrow very important. If they can restrict uh, 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 Mumbai to under 300, then it's game on. But at the end of the day, I think they would have taken it given uh, that Prithvi Shah had won the toss, they were batting first. We know the kind of batting lineup that Mumbai have. I think in the dressing room, would you say they, they would have been happy uh, at the end of uh, the day? Yes, yes. Even I'll be happy the kind of batting line that Mumbai has. I'll be happy the way they were being restricted. Mm. What, I wanted to, what, what I wanted to say was by mentioning that the first session was wasted. Correct. What I meant to say was that... Uh, if you have to really catch Mumbai, catch Mumbai, who are 41-time champions, then you have to not mm. waste a single session. Mm. But yes, all said and done, first day, first day was even Steven, as you said, it was. Mm. It can be equally distributed. The game hangs in balance, and yes. I think MP has reasons yeah. to be happy. Uh, uh, you know, I was. We had uh, uh, Devendra Bundela on the show yesterday, and we were talking about how this is, uh, in fact, Mumbai versus Mumbai in a way, with Amol Mazumdar at one end and Chandrakant Pandit on the other. And we did get to say the Mumbai uh, team, the way they bat with Jashasvi Jaiswal specifically. You know, we keep talking about, and we've said this so often when Mumbai have played well and the kind of batting that Mumbai has. That, that Khadu style of batting, you saw that again with Yashasvi Jaiswal today, is playing himself in, you know, tiring the bowlers out and then reaping the advantage uh, in the second half. How uh, good has Yashasvi Jaiswal been? Oh, yes, he was, he was very good for the time he spent on the wicket, except the shot that he played, which was not a shot expected out of him. But mm -hmm. a young man with tremendous talent, a good eye on the ball, and uh, he, he times the ball very well. He has got a lot of precision in his timing. So yes, he is a good player, and he is one of the one of the futures we are looking at. Mm. And also, I mean, if he had scored another hundred, he would be the third player after Vijay Merchant and Sachin Tendulkar, and that would have been quite something. And like you said, he looked very good, except for the shot that he was very disappointed with as well. He actually looked very good in that 78 that he scored. But along with him, I've got to talk uh, a little bit about Prithvi Shaw as well. I know that he has said that he is not really looking at a test recall. But what seems to be happening with him? Um, you know, is there something that's playing on his mind? Because he did look distracted. His batting wasn't the kind of batting we've seen Prithvi Shaw do. Yeah, I think he... he, he, he... When he was timing the ball, he was looking flawless. But the point is, when you're not timing the ball and when you are down, then yes, you need to spend time on the surface, which uh, he should have done today. He had fantastic opportunity to be there in the Ranji Trophy final and spend some time in the middle. But then, by and large, he was beaten by a ball where, where the ball was not brilliant, but he lacked footwork. So he lacked footwork. It was not a ball to get out, but he lacked footwork. Mm -hmm. And had he shown some footwork, he would have been still there. And he is a he's he he's a destroyer in chief. If he gets going, mm. he would have been he would have taken the game away in just one session from uh, MP. But mm. yes, uh, I feel bad for him. But he's a he is he's a great talent, and I'm sure he will come back. Mm. And he's very young. He's very young. He has time by his side. He has all the reasons to ensure that he goes back and work on the glitches that he has in his technique. Mm. And I'm sure he will come out well. Maybe in second innings or maybe in the, 
uh, in the next season. But sure. he's a good player. He's a great talent. Sure. Okay, let's also talk about another player who's been unstoppable this season, Sarfraz Khan, the highest run scorer of the tournament. He's actually been unstoppable. I mean, even uh, not just through the season, today he was looking good, though. Did you feel like he was curbing his naturalist instinct? I mean, strike rate of 32, that's not something we've seen from Sarfraz Khan. Need of the hour or was he being too restrict restrictive? Cautious. That was that was very that was fantastic. Somebody 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 who has such a fantastic strike rate was playing and taking responsibility. That shows the character in an individual, and that was very impressive. It's not about the the sort of strike rate you carry in the previous game or the amount of runs that are behind your back. Well, that is history. Nobody is interested in that. This is a this is a game. This moment, mm -hmm. what you do for your team is very important. And in given a situation when he was under pressure. And at a, in a given situation, he was uh, he was outstanding. He was very good. He was very good. And uh, the best part will be seen tomorrow if he sees that one hour off and uh, ensures that the young man at the other end, uh, I think, is Mulani. If yeah. he if they if they talk to each other and Sarfraz can play a, a senior's role, and this is what he should be doing tomorrow, mm. and take that one hour away from MP. Mm. then I think uh, things can be different and the match will start falling in Mumbai slap for a while sure. if they don't get out. Mm. The first session or maybe before lunch is very important. Mm. But Sarfras is a very capable player and uh, mm. I'm, it's really very impressive. Mm. Very impressive. that uh, mm. he, he, You see, the, the best thing about any player is how you cope, how you handle the pressure sure. and how you, how you adapt to pressure and take that responsibility. He did that. Mm. Absolutely. Now for, for Mumbai, you said they should uh, try to get Mumbai out in the first session maybe before lunch. But from there on, uh, you know, responsibility on the senior player uh, like Rajat Patida who needs to score runs. To, this final requires lots of runs to be scored from here on to whichever team that wins. I mean, it'll come down to who scores more runs really in this in this uh, final. And that's where the role of Rajat Patita is very important. You're someone who's coached him. You know uh, the kind of state of mind that he's in. And, you know, we saw what he did in the IPL. How important will uh, his performance be in this tournament, in this final well, rather? I think... Uh Rajat is uh, a complete player and so is uh, Shubham Sharma with him. But Rajat is uh, technically very sound. What he needs to do is he should put a lock in the IPL that he did very well. He should just put a lock and throw the key away because this is a five-day game and he has to ensure that he maintains a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. You know, he has to switch off from what he did in IPL. He played a marvelous knock in IPL but the point is that's what he has to forget and look at a five-day game over here. So patience and perseverance will be the key. So it's like a brick by brick, he has to build up his innings and get that construction right. Mm -hmm. Last word on uh, Chandrakant Pandit, the magician, really, after what he's done with Vidarbha in uh, you know, winning them two titles, MP now in the final after 23 years. Uh, just, the, just a word on the kind of turnaround that you've seen in uh, this Madhya Pradesh site under him? Uh, uh, yes, uh, he, he has done a good job. But uh, in cricket, uh, the captain, the commander in the middle is very important. What happens is we get carried away a lot in life uh, by, by some very senior names and taking away the credit from the captain. I think Aditya was uh, outstanding in the semi-finals as a captain. And this entire journey, because in football, I can understand the captain plays a very important role, and so in tennis also, and so in hockey also. Those changes are being made by the by the coach in hockey yeah. and all these games. But in cricket, you can only talk to a captain for a while, but then a plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F are his instincts in the middle. So, you know, I think Adit is a very seasoned, very matured boy. He has played a lot of cricket, and I've seen him from a very young age. Mm. He's a very sharp and a shrewd mind. Uh, of course, not taking away the credit from Chandrakant Pandit about what he did in the last so many years with Vidarbha, with Mumbai, and also with MP. All due respect, he has done a good job. But yes, you have to share this credit with Aditya also. Okay, so share the credit with Aditya for Chandrakant Pandit as well. Important day to, tomorrow for both uh, Mumbai and uh, Madhya Pradesh and like... Uh, 
like we heard, uh, uh, like we spoke to uh, Sir here, telling us that you know at the end of the day, it'll come down to that first session and how uh, Madhya Pradesh gets Mumbai out uh, in the first session. If that is possible, then uh, Madhya Pradesh have uh, an advantage from there on. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on the show. That's it then. Final day one, Mumbai ending the day on 248 for five at Stumps. Yashasvi Jaiswal getting off to a good start with uh, Prithvi Shaw. From there on, though, Madhya Pradesh kept taking wickets and uh, Mumbai ending the day on 248 for five. That's it then on this special <coughs> Do Follow News 9 Sports for the latest from the world of sports. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.